Now this is a surprise. Or maybe it's not. What are you talking about? This is a place where people come when they are troubled about the things they have done. Is that why you're here, Swade? Something on your conscience? Huh? You got something troubling you, Swade? No offense, Reverend, but you seem a lot more troubled than I am right now. You call me to see you at the rectory. You ask me a bunch of weird questions about my anger. Towards Marty. About your anger towards Marty. I barely opened my mouth to answer you, and you 86 me. What's going on? <laughs> this can't be about what went on between Marty and me. Yeah, why can't it? Or is that something you consider too trivial? I feel bad about the way things ended up with Marty. But uh, she's the one that drinks and flips out partying, and I'm supposed to have the guilty conscience about it? I don't think so. You know, if anybody's conscience is doing a tap dance right now, it ought to be yours. Mine. Now, what am I supposed to feel guilty about? About how Marty has gone back to her old ways. I mean, she was your pet project, wasn't Marty she? Marty never had an easy life. Never. And you better believe me. It's never going to get harder than what she's going through right now. Well, that's exactly my point. You saw that Marty was drowning. You stuck out a hand. You couldn't save her from going under. Maybe you blame yourself, hell, Rev. Maybe you should let me listen to your confession here. What is, is this? Is this some kind of a sick joke? Is that what this is? What happened to Marty is a crime. It's not a comedy, okay? Look. Seems how this whole thing with Marty has ended up a, a big mess. Maybe we should just uh, act like it never got started and Marty... You want to act the same. like it didn't start? Well, why not? Why not? Take it easy, Reverend. How am I going to do that when I know that from now until the very end of her life, each and every day she's got to live and breathe the consequences of what happened on that night? What happened that night isn't, uh, isn't very different from what happened on other nights, if you ask me. I'm sorry if I'm not wringing my hands about Marty, but the truth is I can't get myself all worked up about her, how rotten she's feeling. Uh because I got my own stuff to deal yeah, with. Yeah, I bet you do. I bet you do. Besides, I know Marty, and if she's in trouble, she certainly brought it on herself. Oh, so she deserved what she got, is that it? Pretty much. Including rape. Wait a minute, Marty told you she was raped? That's right. Did she say who did it? Reverend, I don't want to get in another tussle with you here, but you can't take everything that Marty says as the gospel, if you know what I now mean. You're going, now you're going to tell me that she's lying. I'm telling you, she was drunk. Hmm? And believe me, the way she was taken up that night, I doubt she can remember where her hands were, let alone what happened to the rest of her. Marty loves to party. Now, what if I tell you I saw her the morning after that particular party, and she didn't love it? Yeah, well, I saw her, too, at the party, and she was so out of it, she didn't know what she was doing. Did she happen to tell you how she was getting around she that told party that me night? She was raped. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what, I don't necessarily buy it. And, frankly, I'm surprised you do. Oh, wait, wait. Why? Why should I? Why shouldn't I? Huh? Why? Because Marty's lying never took a bigger chunk out of anybody than it did you, Reverend. Or was that a different Marty Saybrook? that started those rumors last summer about you and Billy Douglas, huh? That was a different woman than the one now. Yeah, well, I thought so, too. I thought she changed, but I was wrong. We were both wrong. I saw her at the party, and that changed my mind. Stop now. We just stop. Reverend, I've heard Marty Sabrick stories at Rhodey's way before I ever met her about the rich girl who only takes time off from sleeping around to have a drink or a snort. Look, if Marty had been talking about scoring the other night, I'd believe her, but rape? I'm telling you, man, I saw her. She was coming on to every guy in the place. They were hanging all over her. What are you saying? Are you saying because she's made bad choices that she is bad? I didn't say that. Are you saying that because of what she's done, you're going to label her a whore? 
So no matter what kind of sexual violence a man does to her, it can't be considered rape because of her past behavior? Is that it? Yeah, I was married to a whore, Reverend. I spent 10 years in prison. I don't got a lot of sympathy for Marty Sabra. And I am going to put you back in prison for what you have done to her. What? What, you think I did this? I can't believe this. Oh, Marty is feeling guilty for sleeping around, so she accuses me of raping her? Oh, this is perfect. Pin this on the ex-con. Marty has not accused anyone. Today, she is going to come forward and press charges. And it will go a lot easier on you if you come forward now. I spent 10 years in prison, Reverend, for something I didn't do. You ought to know me better than this. I could no more force myself on a woman than take someone's life. I didn't rape Marty. Then why? Why are you so angry with her? Because I was in love with her. When I saw her with all those guys, You saw it with all those guys, and it reminded you of God. You know. Forgive me. Skip it. Forgive me, sweet. I shouldn't have said a thing. So, um, the problem here is, it's my uh, anger, not yours. I said, skip it. Mm -hmm. 